So, um, but they, they literally gave a ton of insulin and nothing's happening. So they did the same study and said, let's just drop the blood sugar 20 points from 110 to 90, which you know is nothing. That probably happens when you go for a walk, right? Um, so they dropped the blood sugar from 110 to 90, and all of a sudden, the, the uh, addictionary of the brain are lighting up, right? To go from 110 to 90, now the, it's like the brain is on fire for food. And this made a lot of sense. And then fast forward to more recently, David Ludwig showed that if you have a high carb versus medium carb versus low carb meal, that two to three hours after that meal, there's a low total body energy, not just glucose, but also fat, if you have a high carb meal. So let's think about this. Okay, lowering of blood sugar in the setting of high insulin activates the dictionaries of the brain, the parts that says eat more, right? We know every person that we give insulin to says, and their blood sugar goes low, they say, I feel weak, I feel hungry, get me Bread. ice cream, <laughs> graham cracker, cookie, orange juice, chocolate, jelly bean, whatever it is, right? So, um, well, let's just think about it practically. What happens two hours after eating pizza or three hours after eating pizza? You're eating We're cold calling. pizza yes. and it tastes better, right? Or what happens after we have Thanksgiving here or Christmas dinner or, you know, and what you, everybody's so full, they can't eat it anymore. And then three hours later, they start picking leftovers. And then the pies come out, the desserts come out. Maybe for you guys, it's flan or it's other desserts. And everybody's eating all over again. Why is that? In the United States here, there's a Chinese food epidemic. And this is the, everybody knows this. If you tell them what happens three hours after Chinese food, you know, basically, you, I love Chinese food. No, nothing against my Chinese uh, compatriots, but, uh, but the food is so good. What happens? So you eat the food, you try not to eat the egg roll, you try not to eat the lo mein, and three or four hours later, you're eating cold leftovers and it tastes better. Why does it taste better? Why is the cold food three or four hours later tasting better? Why are you hungry if you ate so much? And that's driven not by what's in your stomach or the size, you could put a cinder block in your stomach. It doesn't matter, you could cut your stomach, you could take all sorts of weight loss medications. At that moment, when your blood sugar is going down in the setting of high insulin, when the total body energy is down, your brain is on fire for food. 